This is our project for today. It's a little bag made with our kit number two from our tonic kits. So just to make a start, I've cut a square and that is four and a half inches by four and a half inches. Or you could do it in centimetres, which is 11 and a half centimetres. So I'm going to score each side at an inch or 2.5 centimetres. On the corners then I'm just going to cut up to the cross line and then take a tiny little nick out and I'm going to do that on each of the four corners. So now we're just going to glue the corners into place. So I'm just using our deluxe adhesive. So now I'm going to take some super sticky tape, whichever one you've got at home, and just run around the bottom. So. So now I'm using the speciality paper. Because this moulds so well, it's perfect for a project like this. Because as you can see, it just bends perfectly. And the size of this is five, uh, six inches by 11 inches, or 15 centimetres by 28 centimetres. I can pop a little bit of glue just there. A little bit of tape onto my, my paper. So for extra security, I'm going to put a little bit of tape on the inside and I'm going to put a little bit on the outside of the box just to make sure that everything is held in place and stuck down. Right, so just bringing round the other side. Now these two bits then will overlap. So I'm just gonna pull off the other piece of tape, making sure they're lined up again and then just squeeze the other two layers together. So there is the basis of your box. So it's quite a substantial box depending on what you want to give. So I'm just pinching all the corners, making sure we've got nice little edges and everything is stuck. So for the base, I've got a little trim that I wanted to put on there. So I've taken a little bit of our lovely gold speciality card and a little piece of our glitter card. So the gold card is two centimetres 
centimetres by 28 centimetres. So that's three quarters of an inch by 11 inches. And the glitter is, let me just stick it by here and then I can give you the measurement. It's half a centimetre by 28 centimetres or a quarter of an inch by 11 inches. There we go. And again, I'm going to stick it with tape this time. The last bit may need a little bit of glue as well, just just extra security. So there we are, there's the base of the box. So now we're going to make the handles. The outer edge to cut there and the pattern. And then I've just used the outer edge on the red. So I'm going to glue those together. I find it easier to stick the two layers together and then cut the middle out. So I'm using the smaller die. What I'm looking for, there's two little points. If you line the points up, then you know it's in the right place. There's our handle, all done. Move that out the way. So now to stick our handles in place, just squeeze the edges of the box together and that gives you roughly a centre mark. So have a little look and see where do you want your handles to sit. I want the flat edge to be on the top and I'm lining up with the little points on the side. And then I'm lining up the other side of the handle. If you look at the back, line up the top first before you press the base down. And then you know your both handles then are in the correct place. So there's the two handles all in place. When they dry then, I'll give it a little bit of a trim. So the decoration on the front, this is made using the centre, so the little bit that you've just cut out, you can use that as your decoration point, so nothing goes to waste. And then you've got two of the corners um, from the stamps. So I'll show you how I decorated those. So I'm going to do a little bit of stamping onto the Majestic Gold. So I'm using our Nouveau Clear Mark. I've got a little anti-static bag. So I'm just going to emboss this in gold. So that's, that's a little bit of gold on gold. 
I'm just going to stamp the sentiment as well. So on the other bag, I did Merry. Do on the other one. Merry Christmas. So I think we'll do season's greetings on this one. They are the two sentiments that you have in your kit. So it's, it's a lovely little bit of old England font there. That's lovely. Right. So to decorate my little corner, I have used our Nouveau pens. And I'm not a, I'm not a great colourist. I'll have a little go, but I'm not... I'm certainly not as good as some of the colourists out there. So I'm just using the lightest green first just to colour in the leaves. Then I'm going to the next one. So I've used 413. This is 415 and I'm just going to the centre. Where all the little bits of veining are, that's what I've gone over. And then I'm going to the darker one. And that's going again right into the centre and then I can blend them out then. And then I wanted to do a little bit of um, gilding without flakes. I'm not going to open these right until the very end. But with it being such a big glue tip, I kind of thought, how am I going to do it? So I came up with the idea of putting a little bit of glue on your mat and using a dry brush. So I've got a really fine nib. You could also use um, our, our Aquaflow markers, uh, Aquaflow brushes, sorry, the painting one, the water one, but no water in the, in the barrel. So we could use either. Make sure you give it a good clean after. So I'm just going in between the embossing. So there's my glue all in place. I'm just going to leave that for a couple of seconds just until it dries and then I will put the flakes on. What I would do then, I can go back to, I've already done them, I've already cut them out but I will show you how to put the flakes on. And then what I've done with these, I have just tucked the little edges so it looks like a little cartouche. You've got a pretty little top and a pretty bottom. So a little bit of glue on the bottom. So that's how far I got. So this glue should be ready now to do the gilding. So don't breathe once you've opened your pot. And even though it's a little pot, the flakes are not little. They are quite a nice size flake. And I'm just going to press it on. You don't need anything special at home and there's your foiling and that catches the light as you tilt it. So now we're going to go back to our handles. I'll just do one of them for now um, because you're going you're gonna to do the same with both. 
and you're just going to trim around the edges just so you get a neater edge So that gives you the neat handle shape. And again, I would repeat that on the back. So what we've got then, I've taken a little bit of baker's twine. And I'm just gonna pop my glue gun on. A little bit of baker's twine, and I've popped in the center of your die, you've got a little die that's got some neat little shapes on there. You've got a little Christmas tree, some holly, a bauble and some berries. So they're great for decorating. So I kind of wanted it to look like, you know when you buy your bags and they've got little, um, like little icons or little charms dangling from them. So I've already done the Christmas tree and the bauble and I've just popped it onto some baker's twine. And all I've done is just threaded the twine through and I've knotted it just to hold it in place. Then when I've got the three charms, I want them to hang at different lengths. So put the three together, just slightly different, just slightly offset in them. And then and then I'm going to tie a knot. And there's our little charms on our bag. So we pop our decoration onto the front. Bit. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue for this. You could put it onto foam pads, depending on how you fancy. There we go. And where we've got our knot there, just to make it a little bit tidier, I'm going to pop our flower. And then just to finish off the handle, I've got a little bit of stripy ribbon. Keeps it very contemporary. And I'm just going to tie a nice little bow on the top. And the last little bit of the bag then is our crystal drops. So you get a nice little little bottle. Even though these look small, there's about a hundred drops in these bottles. So I'm just putting a nice little berry. And these little drops will self-level. So you don't need to do anything with them, but you'll get a perfect little berry shape. And there's our finished bag. So hope you've enjoyed.